Hi friends, this is Shanma, I am a SQL DB trainer. So I just created an image guys. So this image is having like Windows Server 2022 operating system with SQL Server 2022. Okay, the latest version of SQL Server. So generally if you want to practice um, SQL Server 2022 on a real time setup, you should have Oracle VirtualBox Manager. You should install Oracle VirtualBox in your laptop and then you have to create one VM you have to create one VM in that and then you have to install Windows Server operating system and then you have to install .NET Framework and then you have to install SQL Server 2022 after that you have to install SSMS so it's a lengthy process right so it is going to take around one to two hours okay and again sometimes you might know some of the options and like a remote desktop and all sometimes it's difficult to set up the remote desktop so if you need a real-time kind of setup in your laptop if you want to practice with the latest version of SQL Server then this image will help you a lot very simple so if anyone is interested to take this image I'll share the link you can download that image once you downloaded that image, you have to attach that image in the Oracle VirtualBox Manager. Once you attach that image, you can start the virtual machine and then you can directly connect to that server using the remote desktop option and then you can enter into the server and you can connect to SSM, you can open SSMS and you can connect to SQL Server and you can practice whatever you want okay so this is how it will be so in case if anyone is looking a complete real-time server setup with the remote desktop permissions then this video will help you a lot guys so you will get an image if you are interested you have to buy this image so the cost is very less I'll, I'll charge only 200 rupees per image so um, if you if you pay through PhonePay or GPay I'll, and I'll give access to your Gmail ID you can download that image and you can work with it so I'll show you the demo so you will get a clarity now imagine you want to practice on a real-time server real-time kind of server with a SQL Server 2022 you want to practice so it's a it's a long process I told you right so you have to create a VM, you have to install Windows Server, then .NET Framework, then SQL Server, then SSMS, right? So with this image, you will get all at a time, guys. Okay, so let me show you how it will work. So I have that image ready. So once you have that image, once I gave you that image, once you downloaded that image, then what you have to do is like, you have to simply click on this new button, okay? So here you have to give the name of the VM, Windows 2022 whatever name you want you can give it no problem at all you can choose any of the path so in which path you want to um, sorry so no need to create this vm okay so no need to create i'm sorry for that go to this machine click on add okay so here what you can do is uh, here i have my own folder virtualbox vms right let me go to that path e drive and win 2022 vm double click on it and open this one and you can see this image right just double click on this image right done windows 2022 is attached now what you have to do double click on this machine so if you double click on this machine then automatically this vm will run guys it will start so the vm will start and os will load and then you can log into this machine now remotely then finally you can open SSMS and you can practice so I'm resuming I'm, I'm pausing this video once the machine is ready then you can see how to log into the machine and all right so now you can see right the machine is started so here what I have to do is first log into this machine once so to log into this machine you have to use write control plus delete or you can use this option you can use this input keyboard insert control all delete okay insert control all delete button you can use okay so 
now this is in google domain guys okay this is in google domain even i created a vm in a specific domain also like in the organization how it will be in the same way for example in the organization you will get access right they will ask you to log into that server so what you have to do you have to give the domain name so if google is my domain how to log in so just give domain name backslash your username so in this case username is administrator right so i have to give like this and then i have to just log into this machine directly so once i logged into this machine directly now you can see the ip address of this machine okay take that ip address and then we can connect to that server remotely then i'll open ssms and you can just connect to the sql server 2022 okay so the, now the machine is ready right so open command prompt right okay just open command prompt and check the ip address we want to connect to the server remotely right so i should know the ip address of this machine right ip config using ip config we can check the ip address in your case it might be a different ip address in my case uh, i am going to use this 192 series address okay just uh, take this 192 series ip address so go to this windows okay and uh, you can type remote just remote in your laptop guys once you know the ip address of the server once you know the ip address of the server go to your local laptop and here type remote okay you will get remote desktop option or msts is the shortcut okay now give the ip address of this machine 192.168 what is the ip address of this machine 192.168.0.134 right so 0 0.134 done connect now it will ask you the password of this machine so i will share the credentials with you so you have to use that credentials and then you can directly log into that machine guys let me show you that one so the username is again google slash administrator okay google backslash this is google means your domain guys in the organization will give the domain name and your your username in my case the username is administrator in the organization you will get a username with your own name okay so you can use that name to connect to the server just click yes Chalo. now we are connected to the server remotely guys so in the organization exactly like this only will connect to the server okay like this only you will connect to the server in the organization you will know the ip address okay in my case i don't know the ip address so i just log into the machine directly then i check the ip address in the organization you will know the ip address you can directly use the ip address to connect to the server Chalo. fine now what you have to do open ssms nothing to do no need to install anything simply open ssms okay you will get management studio link and then open that ssms and then connect to that management studio and connect to the sql server guys if you are unable to open like this click on the start start, uh, start button just go to this sql server tools 18 just select this management studio It is taking time. Right now you can see right so SSMS is opened. So what is our IP address of this machine? You can use multiple ways to connect to the server. Uh, you can use server name, you can use IP address, okay? Or you can use local local admin. So if you are in, if you installed a SQL server default instance 
you can use different names to connect to the SQL server, guys. So uh, I just connected using IP address, right? Uh, this time I'll give you a server name, okay? You can just select from this. This is my server name and just click connect. So in this way, you can connect to the default instance. So this is SQL Server 2022, guys. You can see here 16.0 means SQL Server 2022. So you can practice now. Directly you can create databases, you can create tables, whatever you want. You can directly create all the objects and all, okay? So this is how it will work. Very simple. Download the image. I'll, I'll share the link. Download the image and install the Oracle Virtual Box. Once you install the Oracle Virtual Box, you have to go to machine and click add and you have to go to that location where you downloaded that image okay you have to go to that location and you have to attach that vm and you can start that vm and you can connect to the server remotely you can open ssms and you can connect to sql server and you can work directly guys that's how it is going to work so if anyone is interested once the payment is done i'll share this image with you what you have to do is you have to download that image first that image size is around 20 gb guys okay this image size is around 20 gb so you need at least 4 gb of your ram your mostly all of uh, everyone's laptop is like uh, at least 4 gb to 8 gb it will be there right now everyone is using minimum 4 gb ram they are using right every laptop so what you have to do is like download this image okay and then attach the image so precautions is like minimum 4GB RAM is needed for your laptop or server for your laptop and 20 to 25 GB storage is needed and you have to use your Wi-Fi network okay using Wi-Fi network only you can download this image don't use mobile hotspot network why because this is around 20 GB the file size is 20 GB you cannot download the file okay 20 gb file with a mobile hotspot even though you have data balance you cannot download it it will be sometimes in the middle it will be um, cancelled and all automatically so again you have to download it from the beginning it's a headache so go to good area like go to the uh, place where you have wi-fi so just download it once you download it you can directly attach the image and you can practice the real-time server guys okay so this is how it will work so if you are interested you can just ping me to this number okay if you want this download if you want this image you can directly ping me to this number okay so if you are if you are from other country so this is my country code you can directly ping me in the whatsapp okay or else you can call me to this number as well so the payment is like 200 rupees this image cost is 200 rupees once the payment is done uh, I'll give you the access to download. You can download and you can attach it, guys. Okay. If you have any questions, you can just ask me. Uh, I'll help you out. Okay. Thank you, guys.